Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. In today's video you will find out how the price of Ethereum has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are showing for it, so you can become a more successful trader. Taking a look at the hourly time frame for Ethereum, it can be seen that the price went down with around 1.8% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 129. The fact that the sellers are taking over can be deduced because the volume was high and the move was strong. Next, looking at the simple moving average, or short SMA, it is calculated by summing up the close prices for a certain amount of candles and then dividing it by the number of the candles. We use usually the last 20, 50, 100 and 200 candles to calculate the different SMAs. The SMA lines could be used to determine if a trend is currently to the downside or upside. The SMA lines could also show support and resistance levels and breaking one of them could signal trend to the corresponding direction. If we now look at the current hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 200 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 129 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 131 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. For longer price development, the daily time frames should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, owing to the bearish divergence, the price has already gone down. Moving to the stochastic RSI, like the RSI, it also shows when a price has been oversold or overbought. The stochastic RSI, however, improves sensitivity and generated a higher number of signals by moving quicker up and down. It consists of the percent %K and percent %D lines. The percent %D line is a moving average of the percent %K line, meaning that it moves slower. Cross points between the two lines can be perceived as showing a change in the trend. When we now look at the current hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Jumping to the moving average convergence divergence, or short MACD, it uses two moving averages usually the 12 period and the 26 period moving average subtracted from each other to create a single line, the MACD line. Another line is used as a signal line, which is usually the 9 period EMA. You should watch for crossing between these two lines for a trend change respectively a trigger for buy and sell signals. There is also a histogram often to the MACD indicator, which shows the strength of the trend. When we now look at the current hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 100 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 129 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 133 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very low, which means that the price is oversold and a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation is to be expected. The K line is currently above the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the upside. Jumping to the three hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. 
Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. Next.